Okay, I just want to take a quick video because all the videos I'd found on uh, YouTube didn't have what I was looking for. Um, I do a lot of plastic welding with polycarbonate. As you can see, I made, made that little thing. That was one of my very first projects with polycarbonate, but I use a lot of polycarbonate in my work. Uh, but polycarbonate is easily identifiable because it's usually quite clear, quite transparent. Um, and it can be bent at a sharp angle without breaking. Um, acrylic is also quite clear, but it would break if you were to try and bend it like that. Uh, so that's that's your uh, polycarbonate. Now that doesn't come in your Harbor Freight crappy welding sticks. What you get with those is ABS, PVC, and polypropylene. Uh, another one you don't get in the, uh, the quantity sticks of Harbor Freight junk is nylon. And that's what I also use a little bit of is nylon, and that's why I have these zip ties right here. Zip ties make great nylon plastic welding uh, bits. Now, to try and uh, describe, the, the thing I needed to find on, on YouTube was uh, helping identify what question mark material this was. There's no markings at all on this piece, this, this item um, that I'm trying to repair here. There's a auger that runs on the inside of here, and it wears out a hole in the side of this uh, over time. And I've sleeved it with a, a stainless steel sleeve, but I still wanted to fill in the, the hole just to make it so that it would uh, be a little bit stronger. Uh, because I have another one that almost broke clear off. This, this little neck here almost broke clear off. And I had a hard time trying to figure out what kind of material this was, what kind of plastic this was. Um, because there's no markings on it whatsoever and it didn't fall into my category of five uh, different kinds of material there. So um, I did a little bit of uh, research and I couldn't find anything that showed it melting. Uh, none of the videos on YouTube showed what different kinds of plastic look like when they melt. So I'm going to do a little quick demonstration. I have, I have the Harbor Freight welding, uh, plastic welding tip thing here. And uh, it's running through a regulator, yada yada yada, all that crap. Um, and I just wanted to show a video of it melting. This material, when it melts, it changes from opaque to transparent. And it becomes kind of sticky. It doesn't really liquefy, but it becomes sticky. And so you can see that here. It starts to turn kind of a golden brown, and it will start to get sticky. We're gonna heat it up a little bit, and we're gonna smash it. Because HPE doesn't really, it likes to be extruded, it seems it likes to be pushed. It likes to be pushed, heated up and then pushed into stuff. So we're going to push it together with this plastic metal rod and see what happens. And that, my friends, is the best looking joint I've made with this mystery material. Just out of anything I've tried. I've tried a lot of different plastics to fill that in holes. And the closest I've found so far is this milk jug this time. We got to witness the very first successful joining of this stuff. The only other thing I could used to be able to do is I would go over here to this hole. There's a hole over here, and there's a shaft that runs through it. But there's a big housing, there's a big bolt plan. Um, and so it's sealed all the way around, a big, uh, like, six-inch hole. Uh, but then we cut a little bit. So I, the other thing I was doing, I was carving it out. I was using a fox knife, and I was carving out little bits of this plastic and melting it back to itself. And that seemed to work quite well also. But I couldn't figure out what kind of material it was with my five common uh, mixes of material. So, it looks like HPPE. And as you can see, HPPE turns kind of clear when you get a hat. That's the one thing I wanted to show on this video. It turns clear. HPPE often is a color. And it turns more transparent. It's a color or a, or a white and it turns more transparent than it was. That was my goal in doing this video. Um, for those of you who are curious, um, I will also do another video shortly showing what these other five common uh, melting plastics uh, look like, these other thermoplastics, what they look like when they get heated. Uh, because they all have a little bit different properties and they all look a little different when they melt. And I think that would help a lot of uh, people who are DIYers and, and whatnot.
uh, figure out what they're doing is if they can see something that doesn't have a clear marking on it of what it is, they can figure it out by looking at its properties. How does it melt? What temperature does it melt at? Does it burn? Does it char? What's it look like when it melts? And so all of these materials do a little bit differently and they don't stick together. None of them stick together. They make a, they might barely stick together, but they'll pull right back apart. And so that's why I wanted to make a video. I will make another video shortly of that. Hi all, we're going to be doing some uh, plastic welding today with a little bit of polycarbonate. So um, I've tacked this just very lightly. Um, so it'll stay together for this video. I'm going to grab my Harbor Freight hunk of junk plastic welder here and I'll show you how this works. So, with uh, I'm using a quarter inch or six millimeter, uh, six millimeter plate here and eighth inch or three millimeter uh, filler rod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the rod first, heat the rod a little bit before coming in contact with the plate. Now I'm going to press it into the joint and I'm going to heat more on the filler rod than on the plate, but I'm going to kind of feather back and forth. But staying mostly with the heat on the filler rod. And you want to kind of push the filler rod into the parent material, keeping pressure all the way to the end, and then you can kind of just pull it off like that. Now, trying to identify different materials, I like polycarbonate a lot. It's a very versatile uh, material for, for all sorts of different things. Um, it's food grade uh, if it's cleaned properly and it welds quite well and if it's been welded it actually holds up quite a bit stronger than any of the glue out there um, you end up with a, a nice strong weld with it as opposed to uh, um, other materials like acrylic acrylic is very brittle and it likes to crack um, polycarbonate is a bit more robust and it can even bend a little bit it'll bend before it breaks uh, Anyway, so that's that's your polycarbonate. Another good way to, to identify the material is just by looking at the saw cut edge. The saw cut edge on your polycarbonate versus acrylic is the, the polycarbonate holds its edge better. The acrylic tends to chip. It chips out away from the saw blade cut. Um, another good way to, to see one of the properties of polycarbonate is as it melts. I'm going to melt that saw edge a little bit and just to be able to see it kind of just turn clear. That saw cut edge becomes a clear, clear edge as it heats. And if you get it really, really hot, it'll even start to bubble and run on you. But there is that, once you start to heat it, it gets that glassy uh, kind of running look to it. All right, next I'm gonna try and melt a little bit of nylon. Now, nylon uh, doesn't come in your Harbor Freight set of plastic filler rods, but you can use, as I have here, a zip tie. A zip tie is made out of nylon, especially the black zip ties I've noticed are, are almost always nylon. And it melts a little differently. It'll almost drip when you start melting it. It'll almost drip off of it if you get it hot. See there you can see it's starting to run. Starting to run a little bit. Nylon becomes almost liquid um, and will almost drip right off of the stick there if you get it hot. Let's see there we go. Now it's starting to see so that's your nylon. Uh, ABS. ABS from Harbor Freight is the white rods. White ABS. Usually ABS is cast as a plastic uh, that's a black. Um, most parts you find out there that are sold are black ABS. 
but their filler rod is white. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, you can also get ABS as uh, 3D printed parts. 3D printed parts are coming in all sorts of different colors than ABS. Um, but here's what happens to ABS when you start to heat it up. If you're using the same high temperature that you'd use for polycarbonate, you'll actually start to char the ABS, I think, if I remember right. It, and ABS puts off a very distinct smell. It smells very, very plasticky. It's almost, uh, almost skunky smelling. It's not charring like I thought it would, uh, like I, I vaguely remembered. That must be another material I'm thinking of, but your ABS liquefies like that. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit with the uh, PVC. Now, PVC doesn't really melt that well. It's more like a uh, hot glue of, of welding techniques here. But um, this is the Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight PVC filler rod. And this is the one that'll kind of brown and char if you start heating it with too hot. But it won't melt. It won't melt unless you really get it hot. See, there we go. Now we're starting to, we're starting to char a little bit using that same temperature as the uh, polycarbonate. Now if we turn the uh, Harbor Freight welder down a little bit, see if I can get that in the frame, there we go. If we turn it down to about eight, I think it was about eight was the right temperature for welding your PVC together. Um, PVC is also vinyl. Vinyl PVC is the same thing. So, here's our PVC rod that we've torched a little bit at the high heat of polycarbonate welding. Now let's try it with it down a little ways. Now that it's cooled off a bit to eight, let's see what it does. That's a little bit better. It's just starting to turn kind of a golden color. And now it's starting to char. Yeah, you hold it in the same spot long enough, it starts to char a little bit on us. Let's turn it down a bit more, turn it down to about six six on the harbor freight uh, piece of junk welder scale and um, we'll give that just 30 seconds to cool off a little bit and i'll show that one to you okay this is around six on the harbor freight welder scale and that's about where you want it for pvc your pvc just turns kind of gummy and if you're trying to weld together two PVC pipes, it's a real pain in the butt without having some form of, like, a neck on your welder. But, yeah, that's where you want it is about six on your Harbor Freight welder is the right one to get it to melt the PVC without charring it. If it gets charred, it won't stick together. There we go. We got it about six, and it'll actually start to flow a little bit. There you can see it's starting to run. It's starting to run a little bit. And it's a horrible picture quality. There we go. So you get it on a six, you hold it in one spot, and instead of charring, it starts to run. So there's PVC. Lastly, on the uh, five of my options here, we have uh, your polypropylene, PP. And this comes in your Harbor Freight crap sets as uh, green. It's the green polypropylene. And it is another interesting one. It'll almost liquefy on the surface. It almost looks like it's sweating, but it's melting. The sweating will actually start to like drip a little bit before it starts to melt. And we're doing this at the six that we use for the uh, PVC. Oh, look at we have an air bubble in this stick. That's the high quality of your Harbor Freight sticks. They have air bubbles in them sometimes. Um, but there you go, you can see it's sweating and it's about to drip. It's about to drip right off of there. And again, the, uh, the polypropylene melts at a bit lower temperature. If we turn this up a bit, I don't think the polypropylene will actually char though either, like the PVC. The polypropylene here, we turned it up to about 8. And there's another air bubble we're creating melting out another little air bubble but still not really charring like 
PVC does. PVC will char if you get it too hot too fast. Lastly, I would like to look at HDPE. Now, I don't have any filler out of this yet, uh, but I just used a cut up milk carton and it said right on the bottom HDPE. This is about an 8 millimeter wide strip, about uh, 5 sixteenths or so American. Um, and it, although it's kind of opaque, it will turn perfectly transparent when it gets warm. See it, see it turns transparent when it gets warm. And it'll start to get kind of a brownish tint too, but that'll actually go away. It'll, it'll remain brown or, or semi-transparent brown until it cools and then it'll turn back to white. See, look at that. Let's see, there we go. See, it is almost perfectly transparent and then whoop, it turns back to white. Um, so, that's your quick little lesson on the different types of thermoplastics.